So today I'm going to compare these two. Fox one, Fox two. That's the one. And that's the two. Size, pack size. Poles are in there. There's no weight in these. Uh, so I'm going to set them up and do a side by side comparison. And I'll tell you why. It's because in the last video, the last camping video I did, I set the uh, Fox 2 up and it just looked totally wrong. So I think that was on uneven ground is why. So we'll find out. We'll set this up. We'll do the time lapse. Um, what was it to say? Oh yeah, cue the music. There you go. I'm not gonna guy line it out. So here's the two, the Fox two. I'm seeing them on my videos. I had it out and it was all creased over to one side. So it must have been the ground. It had to be the, it had to be the uneven ground because that's fine. Here's the one. Not much difference, is it? Just the size, obviously. Basically the same shape. This one's very small inside. That one's a lot bigger. So yeah, see, you guy it out, you've got the mesh there. The guy lines there. I mean, as it stands there, no guy lines. That's pretty solid. Low profile means it's good in the wind. Same with this. Exactly the same. We've got a, a vent there. A vent there. Literally, the only difference is the size and the fact this has got two doors. So, what we'll do is come back and have a look inside both. A few moments later. Oh, oh dear. So here it is in the Fox One. As you can see. Masses of oh, there's enough room there. Like, I've got a bit of foot room, and in here, you store your backpack. Bits, oh, other bits and bobs you can't fit in. Right. Shoes off, we all know about the shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> So you've got a storage area here, and your door comes out about there. So you've got a little bit of storage there when you've got the door shut for your shoes and what have you. But uh, so the Fox One, to me, for me, too small for my requirements. Right, got a nice loop there. Here. I'm gonna give this away, like I'm gonna give it away to somebody who will use it. It's like a, a stuff maybe. I'm gonna try it. Oh hold on, I'll come back in a second. Alright, so let's see how uh, you can't really sit up in it. Squashed here. Alright, well you're in. Once you're in, it's kind of 
gonna keep you dry, that's for sure. Hydrostatic head 5000 or something. But it's just too tight for me. Personal preference. Somebody else might love it, you know. It's a good tent, I'm, I'm sick that it's too small, which is why I bought the two. The two. Go and have a look at that. <laughs> <coughs> So here we are in the Fox 2. Shoes off. Oh, oh, some small space. Yeah, tie that up. See, if it's raining, oh, I could get away with sitting up in here, cooking in this porch. That's the bureau. Come off, the, come off the tripod. This is always, I hate this tripod, like, I hate it. So you've got this little porch area here. Look, you've got your clips here, and put it on. You just keep that out. You've got mesh there. Solid inner, it's got mesh inner. It's just as if it had like a mesh inner as well as that, then that would be better. But the price is no, you can't really compare. Here's the difference. You've got the door on the other side. Oh, the Fox One has the door, but this one opens. This one opens, so you can have it either way. I like. There's a the mat right at the top of the tent. There's all the room at the bottom. Tent is there. It's pushed across to one side. That's the other space there. I don't think you're getting two people in here. This is a two man tent. Doubt it. Not unless you have one big mat which goes to there. I don't know, like, you might be able to squeeze it in, like, you might get it in at a squeeze, you'd have to be really friendly. Oh. But yeah, there you got the pocket there. It's exactly the same as the, the Fox one. The hanging loop. And they all does tie up. So, this is the Fox 2. I see it. I did a video where I was out. Uh, I'll probably publish this one first. Oh, just like midweek filler. And um, this was pitched on a, a really bad, like in a dip, you know. So didn't work very well. It was all right inside, but this was all, all this side was all like flattened in. So, I mean, it was all right. It was a windy night. I couldn't be bothered to mess about with it. It's got the same, the same system there. These clips hold the fly shit down. Yeah, it's a good tent. And I think I paid, I think I paid 62 pounds for it. For a two man, two man at a push tent. Good for one person. Loads of space for one person. But like I said, a push you could get two in. I mean, this is a wide mat, flex tail mat. It's a very, very comfortable mat, and it's not noisy. Isn't that people's main gripe, the noisiness of the mats? It's nice and warm, it's got a, uh, a layer of insulation in, R5 rated. I've been using this quite a bit when I was on the Isle of Harris. Highly recommended, like for the winter especially. Yeah, so it's just we have a final wonder with a few thoughts. There we go. Mats all put away. I'm just gonna drop them. So what do I think? I think that in one is great, waterproof, stealthy, low, low profile, good in the wind. 
had it in the wind on that Aurora camp. At first it was windy, that wasn't budging like, once you get it guyed out. For me, too small. Too small for me, that's me personally. I know these are popular tents and I can see why. It's a great budget tent, absolutely brilliant. I'm just talking about the headroom to, to do me, me cooking and all the rest of it. You know, I like to cook properly, cook meals and that, and like dehydrate stuff. But for a start, a tent, that is amazing. a good tent, really good, budget, cheap, loads available as well. Discount the goat doors. So for me, the two wins it, the two gets it. Oh, flipping dog howling over there. With its two doors and the ability to sit up there and cook from there. And it's the same, it's low profile. See how if you put that wind, if you put that to the wind properly, the wind will just fly off that. Just watch that video, the next wild camping video. This was in a right breeze and it was just taking it, even though I hadn't pitched it properly. It was spot on. So yeah, well, it's actually the second time we used it. Video that's out now, I mean it, I mean it was good then. It wasn't windy or loads of space, nice and long, wide, plenty of room for your equipment in there, your backpack, plenty of room for your cooking stuff there. I like it, that gets the thumbs up. So this one, I'm going to give it away. I'm going to give it away, right, to one lucky or unlucky viewer, subscriber, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. So just comment, put a comment in, saying, saying, I'm in, I'm in, thumbs up, right? I'm in, thumbs up. And I'll work it out. Even if I have to write the names down and pick one out of a hat, I'll work it out. And then what you do is the winner emails me. My email's always in the description. Send me your address and I'll post it off to you. It's the only inside I've used it once on the Aurora camp. Um, this is a bit of couple of bits of grass inside it, but other than that it's perfect. Brand new. I bought it the day I camped under the Aurora, which was about three or four weeks ago. So there you go, get yourself an OEX Fox 1 for now. Because I'm good like that, you know, I'm good. Oh, I, I've never ever given anything away before. I thought it's about time I started, like, doing things like that. Because I've got far too much gear. I'm going to keep that for now though. I'm going to use that. So, don't forget. I'm in. Thumbs up emoji. And I'll put your name in the drawer. So there you go, the Fox 2 and the Fox 1.